but I want to talk a franchise that many didn't even realize was annual. One that feels like we only get new games every millennia. One that is considered to be one of the most revered series in the whole medium. August already? It's The Legend of Zelda, the yearly franchise. Starting in 2013, there was a Zelda game released each and every year until 2022. Now, we are stretching things here with spin-offs, remakes, re-releases, the works, which, hell, does 2012 count since we got Zelda 1 and 2 on the 3DS eShop? 2018 barely counts since all we got there was Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, but hey, for nearly 10 years, Nintendo had some kind of Zelda release annually, and goddamn, not even Mario Party did that. That's the Nintendo franchise I immediately think of when annual releases are brought up, but look at this. So the first three annual entries were one right after another, but they launched a year later outside of Japan, meaning between Mario Party 3 and 4, there was a gap in Japan, but not over here, so does this count? How about the carnival games, do those count too? Regardless, Mario Party comes out in bursts. We get four straight years of nothing but, one year off, back again, five years gone, Mario Party 9. Explain this gap in your resume. Actually, just flat out explain the resume. Starting with Mario Party 9 though, we got annual releases of Mario Party news at the very least until 2018. Yeah, if we wanna count getting Mario Party 10 announced in 2014, you might as well count that moment in 2006 when I said the word Mario Party. Damn, this series just won't stop. 